my name is Kip Williams and I'm the writer and director of this production of The Picture of Dorian Gray. This is sort of like live performance remixed for the digital age. We have on stage with us a camera crew who shoots our central performer live every night and allows them to play all of the characters inside Oscar Wilde's novel. The creative team and I have really deployed some of the most innovative and exciting theatrical and cinematic techniques to make this possible. Over the course of two hours, they play over 26 characters. Many of them live, some of them pre-recorded, and as I mentioned, we use a whole host of different technical magic tricks in order to have them performing with themselves, sometimes in scenes with seven different versions of themselves. Uh, the show is a mashup of theatre and cinema. It's like live performance remixed for the digital age. It is one performer playing 26 characters bringing to life Oscar Wilde's The Picture of Dorian Gray in a piece that uses live video, camera operators, um, costume changes, set pieces, mobile phones, Snapchat filters, everything that you could imagine from the best of theatre and cinema, and I suppose contemporary technology as well, to create an astonishing work of art. It's like making a, a film live for an audience each night. It's a lot of fun. It's very funny uh, itself. Oscar Wilde, of course, is known for his great wit, and we embrace the humour and camp of Oscar Wilde. This is also a very human piece, because that actor who is conveying this story for you is live in the theatre with you every night, and you're witnessing everything that they're doing before you. It's quite special. There's so many different um, genres that we've drawn on the piece, from film noir and thriller through to music theatre, sort of spans a, a, a reference from Virginia Woolf's Orlando all the way through to The Sound of Music. It is, I think, the kind of wonder of combining a novel, theatre and cinema together to create kind of a new art form. I mean, when we were making the piece, we'd just come out of the first lockdown in Sydney and we felt so lucky to be making theatre again. It's such, a, it's such a collage of a piece. Um, I feel like we were really influenced by photography, we were really influenced by different films, like terribly embarrassing films that I wouldn't actually, you know, reality television, all of the things that I think are just the things that you would only tell people you're friends with. The, the camera operators and the stage managers and the crew are, are like co-performers in the piece. They're like dancers who have to dance with EJ and Nikki each night. And ultimately, they are the people who EJ, through part of the show, are acting opposite. It is theatrical magic at its very, very best. And of course, the centre of this production is an extraordinary performance from Erin Jean Norval, who will be joined by Nikki Shields in Melbourne. I'm so extraordinarily thrilled to see audiences awed by her performance night after night. This is a piece that will leave audiences breathless. It's funny, it's challenging, it's dense, it's poetic, it's revelatory. It is, at its core, a piece that speaks directly to today about who we are, how we see ourselves, and the lives that we're living in the digital age. I encourage audiences to come down and be a part of the Rising Festival and see this phenomenal production of The Picture of Dorian Gray before it leaves our shores.